EA Sports, it's in the game. This is one of those offensive performances that I'll never forget. What a game. sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Let's take it in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. First play and a first pass for Cousins. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refuse to go down. If you're a defender and you don't get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Here's Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. This defense for the Saints, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you... And the ball is knocked out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they've got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll 
that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. So this game here in London, the first of five games in the NFL International Series for 2022. We'll see the Giants and Packers here next week. Broncos and Jags at Wembley at the end of the month. The Seahawks in the box, that'll be in November in Munich, Germany. First time a game's been held there. And then we wrap up down in Mexico City, November 21st. Cardinals and Niners from Estadio Azteca. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. And it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. steady gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Camara. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Hat the street. Hat the street. Hat. Looking to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. Now yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. Call 
put a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here? And a flip right over the top. Escaping the pressure right. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Vikings pick up the football. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. They start the drive with Cook. And some room to roam now. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big run there. 29 yards at a first. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. They run again on first down. Cook. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that one. They go play action. Cousins. This ball complete. It's an out route to Thielen. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Cousins on first down, eluding the pressure right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. No score after one on EA Sports. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw is Cousins. This is caught. Touchdown. K.J. Osborne, his first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here we go, here we go. The Saints offense on the field ready to get hey, their drive hey, started. Go, go, go. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple, second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. He'll look to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. That'll give them eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Again, he'll drop to throw. There's Chris Olave. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone so coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up the first down. 
Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll score! Touchdown, New Orleans! A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Saints are an extra point away from evening this one up. Lutz with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. From the six. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. From the 31. Cousins, a quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections, they want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run it, here's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So and that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. from the six and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line here are the Vikings now to start their next drive that 7 nothing lead of theirs is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by 7 yeah but no cause for discouragement here yeah they've fallen behind but haven't they proven that they can go down and score so what was the formula that got him down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. From the 22, Cousins. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 
We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. P.J. Williams with a pick. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football, because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder... If maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, maybe a movement. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Tanner Connor, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And it's now 21-7. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To throw again on second down. Cousins. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Paulson to Debo. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From the six. And he returns this to the 22. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On second down, Cook. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Cousins now to throw on first down. And I think the ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. 
CD. That's the second time this half they put it on the carpet. Now, the first one they lost. Good news here, it doesn't cost them. They do say that things even out in the course of a ball game. So you mentioned they lost the first one. This time, able to retain possession, but they can't get into this habit. The ball can't continue to go on the ground. Cousins gives way to Cook. And some space here. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Dalvin Cook with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point right down the middle. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now back to throw. Open man downfield is Johnson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? And Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator, but Mike. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Saints. A big play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints will extend their lead here just before halftime. Lux with the extra point and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away from the six. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. They find some open field here. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. start the second half with Camara, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop in behind the line officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. they'll set up a throw got his man complete over the middle that's johnson and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight brandon they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Kamara. 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Vikings' 37-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Back to throw here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, Take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. On first and 10, Cousins throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. Finding space at the 40. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain of 32 that time. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. A first down throw for Cousins. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 120 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. On play action, Cousins. And that is incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and ten. Throwing his cousins. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it's still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. First grab for Thomas. It's good for a first down as well. They'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you lose in a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. 
He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. They end up getting stuck twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Vikings now to start their next drive as this offense takes the field again CD remember last drive they were moving the football but then they threw that costly interception so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive and doesn't that just sum up football we see it all the time don't we the defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum so you know they're riding high right now and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Well, first down there on a pick up of 25. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 35 on second down, Cousins. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception rows they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. As confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try to put points on the board. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Second and four. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. On third and one, here's Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Last play, they went over 20 yards. 
yards. This time they top 30. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Now he dumps this off over the middle. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. They'll run with Cook. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. They try again with Cook, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is down to 24. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Come on, come on. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they won to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. It's Cameron Dantzler who got him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They run it again with Kamara. And some room to maneuver. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. 
Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for New Orleans, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears.